Well, hey kids, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm ready to get together and meet with you in person. Uh, this uh, quarantine thing is, I'm, I'm ready for it to be done. I don't know about you all, but um, I'm even guessing many of you are ready to go back to school. You maybe would say you'd hate school, but now you're like, hmm, school's maybe not so bad, huh? Because, you know, uh, you're gonna get three months off. We don't need five months off. So anyway, uh, looking forward to meeting with you, but you know, I have another uh, story from the Bible from you today. Um, last week we talked about the resurrection of Jesus. I showed that white egg of the empty tomb. Jesus was alive. And after he was alive, he showed himself to many people. Uh, one time, over 500 people at one time. Now, 500 people don't hallucinate all at the same time. They don't all like come up with the exact same story at the same time. So this was pretty good uh, evidence of Jesus' resurrection. But there's one guy, one of Jesus' disciples, who I'd like to talk about. Uh, his name was Thomas. And he was the kind of guy who would be like, you know what, I'll believe it when I see it. Have you ever said that? Or know someone who said that? Oh, I'll believe that when I see it. Thomas was one of those guys. Um, after Jesus died, he rose again. The disciples came and said, we, he's alive, we saw him. And Thomas was like, unless, unless I put my finger into the wounds of his hand, and unless I take my hand and put it where he was speared on his side, unless I do that, I'll never believe. That was Thomas. That was his attitude. That's what he was thinking. And I just say, thank God for Thomas. Because don't we all have doubts sometimes? I mean, I've never seen someone who's been dead come back to life. I would say the same thing. If someone come up, came up to me and said, hey, your grandpa, who's been dead a while, he's, he's alive again. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. That was Thomas. He was one of those guys. I'll believe it when I see it. And so, um, a few days after Jesus had risen from the dead, he came before Thomas. And Thomas looked at him. And Jesus said to Thomas, Come here. See, see my, my hands? Put your finger in here. Here, see where I was speared? Put your hand here. Stop doubting and believe. And then Thomas, he fell to his knees and he looked up at Jesus and he said, my Lord and my God. He finally admitted that his God, Jesus, God the Son, God in the flesh, who was once dead, now rose again, defeated sin and death forever, and he worshipped him as God. And I am so thankful for guys like, I'll believe it when I see it kind of guys. Because that just helps me in my belief. You know, there are some things, you know what, I don't see what gravity looks like. I see the effects of gravity. If I have a ball and I drop it, it's going down. I also don't know what love looks like. I've never seen love. I know what it is. It's there. It's one of those kind of things. And now we have this eyewitness account of a man who doubted, who, who couldn't believe until he actually touched the wounds of Jesus in his risen body, he wasn't going to believe. And he did. And he ended up going and spreading the gospel, spreading this good news, telling people, this man, God in the flesh, he rose again so that your sins can be forgiven. And that is still the message today. That man was God in the flesh, he became a person so that he could live a perfect life and become our perfect representative 
substituting himself for us on that cross where we should have been punished, but instead he took the punishment, he died for our sins, he rose again, conquering sin and death, and now if we just believe, like Thomas, we too can have everlasting life with our Lord. And it is my prayer that we all believe. So would you take some time? Would you pray with me? Lord God, we give you thanks and praise that there are men like Thomas who struggled believing and so that now we get to read about it and we get to learn and we get to believe that you did rise from the dead and that you are God and that you have conquered sin and death and that by believing in you, we can have eternal life with you in paradise. Lord, we are so grateful for that. And Lord, help that thought, help it to, to make us want to live the way you want us to live. Lord, thank you that you loved us so much that while we were still sinners, you died for us. And we thank you too that you rose again, showing how powerful you are. Not even death can stop you, and death won't stop us from enjoying you forever. Lord, I pray you be with all the kids. Help them to know that um, they are loved, that they are missed. And I pray that they will believe, that they will stop doubting and believe. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I hope to see you before the school year ends. Um, but if not, look for our sports camps. We still plan to do those, so I hope to see you all around. It's good to see you. Bye.